Overnight, first, Ukraine claiming responsibility for an attack on the vital bridge connecting Russia to the annexed peninsula of Crimea. A source inside Ukraine's security service says it was a joint operation with Ukraine's naval forces. Russia saying the attack was carried out by two Ukrainian seaborne drones. Ukrainian intelligence says the damage will create difficulties for Russian forces who use the bridge as a, quote, major logistics hub for moving resources into the territory. Now, that comes as we also learned just a few hours ago that Russia is pulling out of a crucial deal that allows Ukraine to safely export grain to the world. Let's get straight to CNN's Alex Marquardt, live in Odessa, Ukraine, with more. And Alex, when it comes to the bridge specifically, tell people why this is such a critical hub for Russia. Well, Phil, this is an extraordinary attack, both because of how important this bridge is, but of course, but also how symbolic it is. It really does uh, symbolize the Russian annexation of Crimea, which Ukrainians very much consider to still be part of their country. It connects southern Russia with the Crimean Peninsula. It's used for both civilian and military purposes. Uh, it is absolutely vital to carry people and products uh, from Russia into, uh, into Russian-occupied Crimea. It has both a roadway as well as uh, train tracks that run both ways, uh, food supplies, fuel, military supplies going both ways. And what we understand is that Ukraine now has claimed responsibility. That in and of itself is quite extraordinary. When we see these brazen attacks, both in Russian-occupied Ukraine and in Russia itself, Ukraine almost never claims responsibility. Usually they're quite coy. This morning they are saying bla uh, very clearly that we were responsible for this attack. It was carried out, as you said, uh, by the Ukrainian security services called the SBU in a joint operation uh, with the Navy. Uh, Russia, of course, calling this a terrorist attack, saying it took place around 3 o'clock in the morning, so around 10 hours ago, by those sea drones. And so this will have significant ramifications. Uh, just to talk to the, uh, to the symbolism a little bit more, this was opened back in 2018. It cost billions of dollars. And at the opening, uh, Putin himself drove a truck across it. And last time this bridge was attacked, some nine months ago, which Ukraine, by the way, did not claim, we saw the biggest number of Russian strikes against Ukraine since the war began last February. Guys? And Alex, uh, this is coming at a critical time. So uh, we just spoke about that grain deal that was set to expire. Why is Russia now saying that they are ending it? Well, Abby, they have simply said for quite some time now that, that it is unfair. Most of that grain leaving from here in Odessa, this is a critical port city. Uh, yesterday, we learned that the last ship that was part of this Black Sea Grain Initiative had already left, and we were ticking down the hours until this grain deal was going to expire at midnight tonight, local time. Russia has preempted that, saying that they are terminating the deal. This deal was brokered last year by the United Nations and Turkey, of course, between Russia and Ukraine, so that U Ukraine could continue continue to ship grain to the world uh, through the Black Sea, getting safe passage through the Black Sea. Now, Russia says it will no longer guarantee that. They say that they are being unfairly punished, that this deal is one-sided. They're not able to export their own food and fertilizer. So this could have a huge impact on a number of different levels, food prices, grain prices, and of course, the Ukrainian econ economy. But the, the effects will be felt well beyond Ukraine. Phil, Abby? All right, Alex Mark, our two major developments this morning live for us in Ukraine. Thank you. And joining us now is CNN military analyst and retired Air Force Colonel Cedric Layton. I, I want to kind of start for people who don't necessarily understand uh, the both symbolic and I think tangible significance of this moment. What does this attack show you? So the big thing about this, Phil, is that this is the connection. This is the most symbolic connection that Russia has to Crimea. They built this uh, back when Russia had annexed Crimea. Putin opened it himself. Uh, he was part of the dedication ceremony. And this is the place where all the Russian military forces uh, get their resupply from. Almost all of their resupply comes this way. Some of it comes this way. But for the most part, this is the area that uh, is really important for the Russian resupply effort for the entire war in Ukraine, especially the southern front. So do you feel like this will have a tangible impact in terms of logistics and resupply? Absolutely. It will have a, a significant impact. And, you know, the, one of the big things about this is this is the only link between Crimea and Russia that uh, actually exists. It does supply, as I mentioned, all the military supplies, the fuel, the goods, all the things they need. All the Russian forces get this. It is also the longest bridge in Europe. It's uh, over 10 miles long for the road portion, over 11 miles long for the rail portion. And it does both, of course, rail and road traffic. Now, when you look at the damage right here, you can see uh, 
uh, that this would be a major cause of, of delays. Uh, that split right there makes it impossible for road traffic to continue. And the big thing here with this, Phil, is that uh, if they can't get this operational, it's going to really stop the war effort for the Russians. They're going to have a heck of a time maintaining their position in the southern front. It's also interesting, I think, in the terms of the timing, right? We knew that the, there was a deadline for the long-standing grain deal, which I think is critical really for the entire world's food supply, which was supposed to expire. Russia has already said they are pulling out even before the expiration. Do you think that timing is connected? And what does that mean more broadly? It does. I think it is connected. And it, what it means broadly is that all of this is going to really have a problem when it comes to stabilizing global food supplies. I, with this expiring today and the Russians not renewing it, we can expect prices to go up not only in parts of the world like Africa or Asia or even Europe, but also here in the United States because the global food supply is completely interconnected and that's going to have a major impact on everything that, uh, that happens here. All right, two very significant stories in Ukraine from today. Colonel Cedric Layton, thank you. You bet, Phil.